I don't really know how to describe the color. It's a pink. It's a pink. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, it's a nice pink. That's all I can see. And the wart for the worst <laughs> lipstick haul reviewer goes to me. Hey guys, welcome back to another week in my life. Today's Monday and I really want to be productive. So I'm going to start this week by creating the shorts pattern. I don't actually have a pants block. So that's something that I have to do and work on today before I adapt that into the shorts pattern. But before we get into the pattern making, I hope that you guys have had an amazing weekend. I spent the weekend binge watching Riverdale. So I started at season one. A few moments later. It's basically like a series on um, a bunch of teenagers who go to this high school Riverdale in this town called Riverdale. And they come across like all these weird mysterious murders and deaths. And so they are like trying to crack the case on like who are the murderers and stuff. So I'm always in for like a good crime thriller sort of um, genre of film. I fast forwarded a lot of scenes. Yeah, it's just like things I didn't really want to see or like relationships that I didn't really vibe with. So uh, I guess that's how I managed to catch up to season four. The reason why I started watching it was because I watched Moonshot, which is a movie that's starring Lana Condor and Cole Sprouse. It's a really lighthearted movie, pretty fun. So yeah, if you want to watch like a chick flick or rom-com, that's a movie you can definitely check out. And something that's really amusing was just seeing Cole as a grown man <laughs> because the last time I saw him acting was in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. And this was like ages ago when I was like a teenager. In my mind, I always just imagined him as the annoying kid in The Sweet Life but seeing how he's like adapted and grown as an actor is pretty cool. His acting as Jughead in Riverdale as well is also <laughs> interesting because he plays this like really emo sort of character. It was just a really fun weekend kind of just doing mindless things. <laughs> I haven't really watched TV or like a series in a really long time. The last time I've done that was like when I was super addicted to Korean dramas but I no longer watch those things which is so good because uh, yeah dramas just really take up a lot of time and you really waste a lot of time so I'm glad I don't do that anymore but once in a while I do like to binge on a new series just to get a feel of it see if it's something that I can sort of like mindlessly follow for a while. Also, I'm trying out a new blush right now. This is in the color Coral Peach. Initially, when I turned on the camera, I was like, whoa, this looks really bright. This is by Honest Beauty, which I'm actually really loving. This is what it looks like. And um, previously in all my videos, you would have seen me in the rose pink. So this is like a much darker mauve shade, which has been really nice. So I wanted to try this shade. I also got the Peony Pink, which is a much lighter, brighter pink. I haven't tried this out, but I'm hoping that it's going to be nice as well. What I really like about this blush is that it's really blendable and um, it's actually a cream blush. So I use um, a sponge and like dab it and stuff. So if you're looking to try out new blushes, I definitely recommend this product to you guys. I bought this on Amazon because I don't know if they sell it in Singapore. And I got these on sale when they were around 20 to $22. And I definitely think it's worth it. And even though I don't like spending on makeup, I think this is something that I would probably rebuy. If you can see behind me as well, this was the top that I finished earlier last week. So that's the old label which I made back when I was in college. This was like so long ago. I've changed the font of my logo so that's like an old design but I haven't made new labels so I'm just like using that for now. I'm really happy of how it turned out. I decided not to change the fit because I think something that I'm learning is to always give things a second look because sometimes when you're really focused on doing something for a substantial period of time you should definitely take a break and then come back to it because then you would probably see things in a different perspective because you've given yourself a bit of a breather. Initially, I said in the previous video that I was gonna kind of like taper the fit a little, but when I tried it again the next day, I realized that there isn't a need for that. So really happy with that. And I really look forward to working on the new shorts pattern today. So that's what we're gonna get into right now. <laughs> Home 
homegirl is passed out <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> So funny. Hey guys, it is Saturday. I don't know if you can hear the leaf blow a man outside. I always have this problem whenever I film at home, there's always like some sort of service going on in the neighborhood every single time. It's so infuriating. And of course, we have to film in the back room because I don't have space to film elsewhere as well and by the way this was the other top that i made last week i still try to figure out if i like it or i don't in terms of fit because it's meant to be like a blue song loose fit but i don't know if it's a little bit too big on me still deliberating on that anyways yes this week has been crazy because i <laughs> was trying so hard to make a matching pair of shorts for this top as I featured earlier in the week. And because I hadn't made a pants block, so I had to do that from scratch. And it took me a while because I realized that the crotch um, was a bit too long. So I had to do many, many rounds of twirls. I'm really proud that I actually stuck to it and I actually kept doing it. I've done eight twirls, which is crazy. And I was actually planning to make another set the same style in a French terry. So French terry is basically like your sweatpants sort of material. This is something that I just bought from the store ages ago. I've made so many twirls. This was like the pants twirl. And um, I think I made four of these, which is crazy. Yes, obviously you can tell that it's been a very hectic week of trying to figure out and nail this block but I'm really happy to say that I actually did it and after I like tweaked and sort of was happy with my block I then went on to make the pants which is gonna look like this I hope it's in focus I can never really tell from the small screen so again I had to make many rounds of twirls so I've got like four here a lot of time um, and yeah this wasn't like the initial prototype I removed the elastic band because I was kind of running out of it so yeah the pocket was like a little bit too long and I had to do a couple rounds of tweaking so in a way I was a little bit disappointed or like sad that I spent so much time trying to like get this to fit and look the way that I envisioned it but I'm also really happy that I went through all the hassle of trying to nail this because now with the foundation right or at least I hope it's right and good I can make pants, I can make more shorts so now I have the shorts pattern I also have a non-elasticated pattern which I'm gonna do in a different material I have this like storehouse of materials which I've been trying to think of designs to suit and feed the materials. So yeah, I think next week's going to be more exciting because I've done the hard work of trying to figure out how to do the design of the style and then I can progress in making it into actual fabric and material. So that's super exciting. And I'm just really thankful for not giving up because I remember the last time I had so much trouble was when I was trying to do the one shoulder toga top which I still haven't really finessed and have gotten it to a point where I was happy. I kind of just gave up and did my best but I might revisit that style later on. Really later! Oh, okay. We'll let you in soon, okay? Yeah. Sorry, that was Bailey. She wanted to come in for the AC, but I don't have the AC on because it's very noisy. I'm filming this right now. So I'm going to try to keep this short. <laughs> no pun intended. And something that I've sort of been reflecting on the past April, past couple of weeks of April is I'm really happy that I'm having a lot more peace of mind and clarity because I think, yeah, I just spent the last two, two and a half years like grieving, getting over the fact that I moved and um, yeah, it was just, I was not in the right like heart 
place of mind to actually focus on this. But I'm really happy and really grateful that I am at a much better place now and I'm able to do that and focus on these really exciting things. So next week is going to be a lot more exciting. I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon actually doing the shorts in the linen material. That's super exciting but I wanted to talk a little bit about some other things before I actually start sewing. Right now I have on the peony pink blush. So earlier in the week I was talking about the um, Honest Beauty. I really really like these blushes, I can definitely recommend them. It's a really sweet sort of pink which is what I have on now and I really like it. I was actually pleasantly surprised. Then my package from Colourpop came in. So exciting. I don't normally buy makeup. Like I'm someone who I don't really like spending on makeup because it can really add up. And um, I think as much as possible, I try to stick with like drugstore brands because I can't really tell the difference between quality. And I've got other things that I want to spend on like gear and tech, which is super expensive. So I try to minimize my expenses where I can. And for me, like, if I like a product, I'll just stay with it. I don't really go and explore. Basically, I won't really waste my time or money spending and testing out different products once I found a good product that I really love. So that's been the case with most of my makeup, like my everyday makeup. But I've been trying to look for a lip product for a while. And um, yeah, I went on a little bit of a haul. <laughs> there was a discount that I managed to snag, so... It's really exciting and I've bought from Colourpop before. I've liked their products and it's like pretty affordable so it's yeah really exciting. I went with the Just A Tint. Is this in focus? This is what they do. Definitely not a beauty guru by a long shot. Uh, yeah so I went with the Just A Tint and I got three different shades. I also wanted to try the glowing lip. Yeah I went with one um, colour. And I also wanted to try the Lux Velvet Liquid Lipsticks, which is very exciting. I've heard really good things about the Just A Tint. So this one is the Rise and Shine. And um, I got City of Stars and uh, Z Boys. So those are my three colors for the Just A Tint. And uh, with the glowing lip, I went with the Let's Jet. For the Lux Velvet, I went with Room Service, Get Money, Air Kiss, Lucky Cat, and Pudding. I think coral color suits me the most. And um, I want to try one color right now. I think I'll go with Rise and Shine, just so I have something on. Hmm. It has um, some sort of fruity flavor. Well, my lips are like super chapped at the moment. I have no idea why. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I've been like trying to put Vaseline on lip balm, but it's not really helping. <laughs> First impressions is that it applies them really smooth. Yeah, it's a little bit like the lip balm, but creamier than the lip balm. I think the color is kind of cool. It's like a very neutral peach tone. So in second thoughts, I thought since I'm already all done, I should, you know, actually just film like the swatches and get it over and done with. I did a couple of swatches and I was very surprised that the um, Lux liquid lipsticks were pretty dark in terms of shades. And I would say that just from first impressions of the swatches, I'm really vibing with the Just A Tint. And um, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I have Rise and Shine on, which is really pretty. I'm going to try the other shades. I'm really hoping that they all turn out nice, <laughs> even though the luxe ones look really deep. Oh, and I'm just using jojoba oil to remove the products. Because as much as possible, I try to stay away from products with a lot of chemicals. We are going to try City of Stars now. From my hand, it looks really nice, the shade. Ooh. Hmm. Yep. This is really nice as well. I can't tell what flavor this is, but it's the same 
flavor, fruity flavor as the Rise and Shine. Oh my gosh. Yep. I would definitely buy more of these um, Just a Tim products because I feel it's so wearable. It feels really nice on the lip because it's moist and pretty pigmented and application is also really easy. Hmm. This is like a nice... Oh my gosh, I'm so bad with my shades. But it's like a nice like neutral sort of um, red. And my least favorite part is removing it. <laughs> I will um, put a link to um, Judy's video. So if you actually use her name, you get like a 10% discount code, which was what I used. She's a New Zealand beauty YouTuber and she does like all the swatches. So that's how I saw it and decided to pick the colors. Even though I'd say her skin tone and mine are a little bit different, but she has like an extensive ColourPop swatch haul sort of genre in her playlist so i definitely recommend you check that out okay this one is z boys oh it's really pretty as well oh my gosh i'm so happy these are all like really beautiful neutral sort of shades very wearable for every day which is what i like and again it's like really creamy and pigmented so so far, I'd say I'm really loving these Just a Tint crayons. Okay, moving on, we are going to go to the Glowing Lip in the shade Let's Jet. It has a very... I'm so bad with my fragrances. It's a very familiar smell. I'd say maybe a little bit like caramel. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, this is a nice shade as well. Yes! It's also really creamy, which is nice. And pigmented. The fragrance is okay. I wouldn't say that I love it, but I don't hate it either. So I think this is something that I could also recommend. Bear in mind that these are all like first impressions and I don't know like how long they last, but from first impressions, I'm pretty impressed by them. <laughs> it's also looking really nice as swatches on my hand, which I'll do a close up later. Okay, the next ones are the Lux Liquid Lux what? Lux Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I love how um matte liquid lipsticks can look, but they're also really dry. So I guess that's a bit of a trade-off. And given my current lip situation, I probably won't be wearing them that much. I actually bought a couple of um Peripera. To be honest, I was a little bit disappointed. And um, I wasn't really happy with how it turned out. I got the Ink Velvet as well as the Ink Airy Velvet. I felt that overall it was a little bit like drying on the lips and um, some of them were also giving me a stinging sensation. So yeah, a little bit bummed that it turned out the way it did. So I don't know if I would recommend them. Although quite a number of people like really like them from what I've seen. Uh, but for me, it didn't really work that well. Okay, so this one is Get Money. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. I'd say it doesn't feel as drying as um, the Periperas. And I bought the previous line of Colourpop's Liquid lipsticks and I didn't like that uh, product so I think this one's a lot better but I would say that the formula is pretty pleasant it doesn't feel like it's drying my lips out and it looks pretty matte so I think that's a good sign <laughs> I definitely have to wear all of these more before I can give like final verdict but so far first impressions wise I'm pretty impressed by all of these products okay next up we have Lucky Cat. It is a nice um, red shade. Hmm. I'd say it's pretty nice. Um, not as dark as the previous shade. In, and I feel like um, looking from it on my arm, this has like more of a pink 
is like a pinkish red, whereas the other one's more of like a deeper red. And again, I am actually pleasantly surprised by the formula. I don't think it feels like it's caking on my lips or drying it out. It kind of sits on the lips nicely. I don't feel it, which is a good thing. And um, it also doesn't really have a strong fragrance, which is good. That's something that I don't like when products have like too much fragrance. Okay, we've got three more shades. <laughs> Alright, so far I would say that I'm really impressed with all of these products and I'm so happy. The um, reason why I bought so many is because of uh, I don't want to pay for shipping. <laughs> and I've been wanting to buy Colourpop for a while. So I decided to take the risk to get all of this. And I'm actually really, really happy with what I have so far. So this next shade is the Put-In. I really love this shade. It looks like a nice coral sort of color. Yes, I am also happy with this color. <laughs> Yay! I think it's a really nice like everyday sort of not too crazy neon coral color. So I can definitely recommend this shade as well. Okay, we've got two more shades. <laughs> Let's go. I definitely admire beauty gurus and like reviewers in general. Like if you notice, I don't really like reviewing products on uh, the channel because it takes a lot of work <laughs> to film all the BTS and stuff. But I can definitely recommend these products for sure. I think that they are great. The next one is Ericus. This one looks like a nice pink. I'll say that pink doesn't really look very nice on my lips for some reason. I'm hoping this one um, is okay. I think the shade is pretty nice. It's like, um, I don't really know how to describe the color. <laughs> It's a pink. It's a pink. Mm. Um, dude, I don't know, man. Like, it's a nice pink. <laughs> That's all I can see. <laughs> and the word for the worst <laughs> lipstick haul reviewer goes to me. <laughs> the last shade we have is Room Service. It's a nice neutral color. Yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely like this color. I think the shade is nice. So my final thoughts on this little haul is that I'm really happy with all of these products. I think um, I will definitely fall in love with them, especially as I start wearing them more. And I don't feel like any of them were disappointing, which is a great thing because I find that a lot of times when I order lip products online, I tend to get disappointed. Um, like as I mentioned earlier about the peripera, which is unfortunate because I want to love the things that I buy but sometimes it just doesn't really work out in your favor but overall I'm really excited to finally have these lip products and to be able to wear them on the go which is super exciting so I definitely recommend you check them out also I have another package which arrived for this one I am super super excited I bought a pair of new sneakers. It is so pretty. Pink is my favorite color. Like how pretty is this? This is embroidered. And I was like, looking at this design, I was like, hmm, this looks really familiar. <laughs> and I realized that I have an artwork that I snagged off Pinterest, which is like pretty much similar to this. So maybe that artwork inspired this because I reckon the color tones and shades look really similar. I love it when I find a pair of shoes and these were on sale as well, which is crazy. Because it makes me so happy when you find something really nice that is like not retail price. It also comes with a matching pair of um, pink laces, which is really pretty. It's um, yeah, if you want something like a bit of a mix and I got this pair of shoes from ASOS which is where I normally buy my shoes because like I said I like to get them on discount especially when it comes to like end of season sales I love it I also bought another pair of shoes which is probably gonna come in soon as well quite similar in design it also has this embroidered mountain range I love mountains they're so pretty 
but in the Stan Smith sort of design. So I'm really excited for that to come in. There was also this other pair of NMDs which I absolutely love. I thought that that was like one of the most beautiful pair of shoes that I've ever seen or like come across. But I'm so sad because like I thought I snagged a deal when I got it on sale and like the last pair but when I tried it on it actually was a little bit too tight. So I realized my size is like UK4. For that pair I got a 3.5 and it was yeah just a little bit too tight so I had to return it and I was so devastated. But I'm really hoping that they might revisit that style and bring it back because I would definitely buy it again. So yeah, that's like a little bit of a haul that I've had this week. And I am really looking forward to my other packages coming in. I hope that you guys have had an amazing week. And I really look forward to making more things in the coming week. <laughs>